Hi everyone. Well, it's been a while since I last done an unboxing video. So, Merry Christmas, John, for a second time. <laughs> well, three days before Christmas. Why not? So everyone, uh, this is going to be a review video for uh, Tay Kim. I think that's how you spell his name. Uh, he is a fellow subscriber from Calgary, Alberta. Uh, he messaged me back on September asking if I was interested in his uh, Lassidora difficiles. And at the time, I wasn't really interested in Lassidora since I had uh, I have my female and I have a sling. And he said it was a suspect male, and I just want to confirm the sex with him. And so, like, if it is male, I'll, I'll gladly do a 50-50 breeding loan. So he messaged me back in December, a couple weeks ago, saying that... For 50 bucks, uh, he would include a two and a half potential female H. maculata. And my eyes lit up because uh, H. max are something I really like. And that was my very first tea I attempted to breed with. Unfortunately, uh, Grishina had passed away. And, you know, Libby, I don't always see her all the time, which is my other female. and. Yeah, he gave me uh, his Lassador Divisiles and an HMAC. Very honest person to deal with. Uh, he kept close contact with me through uh, emails as well as I gave him my phone number so that way we could text each other. He gave me the shipping information. Very honest guy because I wanted to ship this from Priority. Priority is about a day shipping and he said it made no difference if I paid the 12 extra bucks. So he refunded me the 12 uh, four dollars uh, plus the the heat pack and I'm happy so uh, he says that he packed the good and um, without a shadow of a doubt it looks great packing and it is certainly a big big box so we go this took like a day shipping which was really good he shipped it out Monday and it's here Tuesday right, everyone I'm stoked to open up this package to see a male difficilis and a female maculata And I, I can't believe he sent. I can't believe he sent it right away, and I got it with before Christmas. And I kid you not, it's it's 22nd of December. I want to show your attention outside. Look at us, everyone. No snow. And Thursday is supposed to be 16 degrees Celsius or 63 Fahrenheit. Wow, this is a mild winter, an El Nino year for sure. And hope it's not snowing too much there in Alberta. Okay. Alrighty. Packing job looks amazing. Oh yeah, there we go. This is how you pack your tarantulas for sure. Okay, so we have some newspaper. No way. I see three of them. Okay, so there's the H. Maculata. Togo Starburst Baboon, yeah, which I bought. This one, I'm not sure on. Okay. Oh, that must be the Diphosilus. No way, an OBT. Whoa, an OBT. Awesome. I mean, there we go. There's the heat pack right here. Still warm. This was a three day heat pack. And check there's anything inside. Oh. There's something else. Hmm, what's this? Magazine. Oh, you know how badly I want this centipede? 
This is the Scolopendra Hard Vicky. But unfortunately, these cost over 600 bucks. My dream centipede for sure. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Rhinoceros beetles, cockroaches. It's such a shame that we can't get most of these insects imported. Yeah, because Canada banned them. Oh, yes, Scolopendra Hard Vicky. Oh man, that's so cool. Indian Tiger Centipede. Oh wow, I'm going to be enjoying this for sure. i to take care of beetles. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a rhinoceros beetle. Blister beetle. Oh, nice. Phonopalma Roswell. Oh, wow. This is a really interesting one. Oh, an emperor scorpion. How to breed them. Wow. That's so awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. And more scorpions. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, lovely bee smithy. Awesome. I love it. Thanks, Tay. Okay, now let's check if these spiders are okay. Okay, so I'm going to get myself my pair of tongs and paintbrush and luckily I'm going to do this in the bathroom because you don't want your specimens to escape on you. Okay, so hopefully you can see the, what I'm doing. I'm using the tripod here. Uh, Let's go for the least dangerous one. All right, let's do the Elba Facilis. All right. He packed it really well. I mean, this is his first time uh, shipping, and he did a phenomenal job. As you can see, even taped it. And he told me that if there's any problems that uh, he will uh, do something about it. So I thought that. Okay, I can be a glucid specimen. I'm very, very gentle. Yeah, there's a little guy. Hey, you! Oh wow, he's beautiful! Look at that! He arrived safe and sound. Let's see if he's moving. And don't worry about it, boy. Such a good boy. Oh, why is he moving like that?
Yeah, he's very stressed from the from the ride. I got some crickets uh, just right now. I'm not going to feed them for a bit at least. I mean, he has all eight, eight legs. Got a little bald spot, but that's okay. There we go, he's okay. All right, now for HMAC time. Ah, that's not a sizable female or unsexed. Alrighty. Let's see how this uh, potential female acts. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Starting to call home already. <laughs> Making webs. That's so fun. Okay. All right, this guy is gonna get a probably a one gallon deli cup, a rubber main jar. Come on. Oh, it's so gentle. That is a nice age mac. If it's male, it doesn't matter because I do have a female for this one. Wow, that is very calm for an age mac. Oh, she's beautiful. He or she. Certainly well fed. There we go. Oh. Hard to say if this is a female or, or male, but there's the H Mac. Okay, now or never. OBT. It's known as orange bitey thing or Ternotulus Murinus RCF. Usambara orange baboon. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Hopefully you're not going to give me any trouble. That's a nice size. Male or female? I don't know. Alrighty, it's now or never. Slow for an OBT. Oh, she's probably gonna dart for it. Wow. Come on. Just want to show you what she looks like. Oh, she's beautiful. Beautiful female or male. I mean, 
so far three T's and they all look very healthy huh there we go hey everyone so I got a request from Mason he wants to know how to stop your tarantula enclosures over here is the basic terrestrial setup give enough t substrate for the T to burrow uh, substrate you can use EcoWorth that comes in a brick or potting soil. Uh, this one is a combination. A water dish and a hide. It's a necessity. Other than that, everything else that you want to put in there is completely optional. Same thing goes with this one here. This is a very similar terrestrial setup. This is for the OBT, this is for the Eldophacillus, and this is for the HMAC, who is an arboreal species. So, uh, substrate, you don't really need to put that much in there. A something to climb on and a water dish which I have to go and buy because I ran out. I think the HMAC will be happy in there until about three inches and I'll get a bigger enclosure for it. Okay so first of all we're going to do which one should we rehouse? All right I'll do the different cells first. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. If not, then I'll just push over here. Okay. All right, this one here is confirmed male. He's a really nice boy. Uh, where is my... Okay, I don't know where my... Uh paintbrushes, but gently going to push the tea out of the enclosure. but that's not too bad. It's still a nice um, skin color. <laughs> Look at that, he webbed. Oh, there it is. And just like a good tea investigates someone's dead body. <laughs> yep, that was one individual that didn't like my tarantulas. <laughs> and for the record, I'm just kidding, it's completely fake. You can get them at the pet store for like nine, ten dollars. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to take off the N Tripepi labels. And that's my new Dificillus cage. Okay, now for uh, the orange bitey thing. This is going to be a little bit hard to manipulate. It's not a very friendly tea. Oh, sorry about that. You guys had it on macro. Okay. H Max is the best for last, I guess. All right, this one here is I don't know. It looks like a male, but could be female. I have to check the molts. But from what I see from this little uh, specimen, I don't have to worry about molts anytime soon. It looks fresh. Of course. Mm -hmm. Bloody mama. Ah, dear. <laughs> we 
We have a problem. Ah, uh, great. The OBT is inside that vent. And lucky for us, it was clogged off. I'm hoping I don't squish it. Try to play pitfall. Where is the specimen? Where is this located? Hmm. And you're probably laughing right now. Yeah, that's something that never happened to me before. It's the first. Oh boy. I'll see where he is. my cover. Oh dear. Have to get it. Alright you. You are gone. Nevermore. Ah oh, boy. That was uh interesting. <laughs> yeah, that never happened to me before, but no, first time for everything, right? Yeah, gotta watch her, watch her out, him out, her out. All right, let's hope this HMAC is much, much easier than that thing I had to deal with. Just uh, push the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Perfect. It's good to have a nice tripod for the camera. Okay. Okay, here we go. I don't want to put my hands in front of the specimen because uh, bite from the squirrel is not a, good, a pretty sight in. You don't want to get bitten by this one. That's a beautiful maculata. Alright guys, she's coming in. She's coming out. She has to explore. 
There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, too easy, one difficult, and kind of expected the OBT to be. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a female to me. Yeah, I would say it's a confirmed female. Awesome. Yeah, so just have to go get a water dish for it, and we'll we'll be in business. Let me just uh, close this up and say too so that was the unboxing video of female potential h maculata male l difficilis look at that he's enjoying his cage already <laughs> loves the skull and i thought he did and the very scary and fun experience of this OBT. So once again, thanks Tay. Job well done. Your package came very swiftly. Unpack the teas. Great packing job. And as you can see, all of them, all three of them are very healthy. So guys, these three tarantulas will not appear in the feeding video. I want to get them at least a couple days settled in before I feed them, unless I make the video sometime uh, during Boxing Day and whatnot. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more vids. I believe three days to Christmas. Can't wait.